Good morning. Once again, it's another beautiful blue sky, sunshine day. Just got back from the vet with this guy. Yep. You went to the vet, didn't you, Orange Cat? Let's go to the ranch. Do you want to go to the ranch, check out the pond? Leave, leave a comment down below. Took Orange Cat to the vet this morning. Uh, he had like a scratch ulcer on his eye. Most likely it's probably from when we brought him back from being neutered. He had, um, he'd been, he was swiping his face. So most likely he scratched it. $170 later, three different medicines, twice a day. Well, welcome to the family, Orange Cat. Orange Cat. <laughs> yeah, three different types of medicines we have to, uh, Help orange cat over here. Let me show you. All right. Well, there's a bill. One hundred seventy-three dollars and thirty-eight cents. This is some eye ointment we got to put into his eye twice a day. Uh, this is some mouth medicine, actually. Well, that's in here. That's this medicine right here. That goes once a day. And then this is a pill once a day. So basically Orange Cat will be okay, it's going to be about a week, and appreciate everybody out there who was uh, making comments about, you know, taking me to the vet and, you know, your, your sincere, genuine concern for uh, for my animals as well as my family. So thanks a lot. Who wants to go to the ranch? Do you want to go to the ranch, check out the pond? Leave, leave a comment down below. Well, you're one happy guy now. He definitely seems to be a lot better. A lot more lovey-dovey right now. So one of the meds were um, pain meds. The doctor had said that. Uh, that is kind of painful for the cat, so I'm sure he's probably feeling a lot better now. <laughs> he just keeps following me around, rubbing on me. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> yeah, tell. Who wants to go to the ranch? You guys want to go? You left the comment, right? All right, let's go. See you, Orange Cat. Before we get to the ranch, let's check the post office box. I know some fans said they sent some viewer mail, so let's see. Excess mail, please inquire at window service. All right. Looks like we got some mail we gotta go get. Appreciate it. Okay, have a good day. You too. Okay, who's it from? Oh, it's Amazon. Oh, it's to Zoe. Awesome. More fan mail for Zoe. That's super. Am I recording? Am I recording right now? I haven't seen the back of the phone. Am I recording? Let me check. Okay, yes, I am recording. Well, change of plans. We were heading to the ranch. We got the text from the moving company. We have gotten it scheduled, and um, I need to go get a bunch of blocks because we're going to block it up uh, to elevate it off the ground. So, change of plans. We got to turn around. Well, I'm actually turned around already. I'm back at home. I got to unload the back of the truck, and we got to go get 128 cinder blocks and 64 cap blocks. I was going to try and get my arm arrested today, but don't look like that's going to happen. Okay, I got to get some tools out of the truck from yesterday. Still got some. Still got some debris back there. And before I forget, I better go get money. Because I can't pay the guy if I don't have money, right? That would have been just my luck. I would have drove all the way out there. It's not too far, it's about 10 miles. But uh, I would have drove all the way out there and I would have forgot the cash to come back. And I might even have to make two trips because of the, um, I'm not sure if my, my truck will hold all 200 blocks. Always gotta check to see if I'm recording. Don't know if I hit the button or not. Yeah, this uh, Bell Concrete is uh, the next town over. They have a concrete plant, and that's where we're gonna go right now. Oh, I'm sorry, I just left the house. Put my seatbelt on. So if you already commented, my seatbelt's on, I know. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go pick up a bunch of blocks. <laughs> there was um, a couple things I should have filmed that I didn't, but uh, when I saw this, I, I definitely had to I'm turning around to go film something for you. And this is what it's like living in a small, farm towns. 
when it's time to go to lunch and you're out on the farm, you show up at Aiken's Barbecue and you just park the farm tractor there in the parking lot. That's yeah, entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> I was stuck behind some other weird farm machine, and that was one of the shots I should have got, but when I seen that, I was like, oh, that's a must. But yeah, let's drive your tractor right to the restaurant. <laughs> so who's ready to go tote some blocks? Oh, man. Look at them all. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I gotta find the office. Where's the office? Where's the office? Maybe over here. Oh, uh, maybe over here. Yeah, well, evidently it's way over here behind the blue door. I, oh, I said to that guy, I said, yeah, I'm here to buy some bricks. First thing he says, we don't have bricks. <laughs> well, it's because I was like, well, blocks. So, yeah, they don't have the red bricks here. It's the cinder blocks. So, i got to find the blue door. So maybe it's this way. Definitely a lot of blocks, man. Holy cow. Oh, here it is, the blue door. I found it. Blue door. So come to find out there's a lot, that's a lot more than I was anticipating. So we're gonna be hand stacking these blocks in the truck. So this should be pretty entertaining. So pulling over to customer pickup. I don't think these employees are going to be super happy right now. We're going to figure out what we're going to do is put these blocks in here. The big problem is the hitch. So otherwise they put the pallet in here and slide it in we'd be done. But now we got to use vicious and delicious. Alright, let's do it. So ideally we'll get the forklift and we'll like get them all in there and just kind of put them in the best we can. But two chips today here at the concrete factory uh, at Bell Floor. Hey, there's some other cool things I'm going to show you when we um, when we drive back by, I saw this grill for sale, and we're in Gator Country, so wait till you see this grill. It's, it's really cool. So evidently, I'm getting two cubes, not these ones, but two of them. We're gonna load the solid blocks up first, and then uh, I'll go drop them off, and then I'll come back and pick up the cinder blocks. Ready to do some work? We need to get that to the house so we can dig the pond. Yeah, boy. We're gonna, there it is. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. Let's yeah. see how it does. We only took off a couple, so. Let's we'll see if it even fit. You go forward as far as you can, see what it does. If it don't squat the truck, we'll just leave it like that. And I'll go hand unload it when I get home. No. No? No. Drive slow. I might have one in the box. Hey, you check that box. Yep. Oh, you're good over here. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. A little bit more. Towards me, yep. All right, set her down and slide her up. You still got six inches. Oh, oh. Uh, okay, never mind. No, I don't want to take that many. Oh, that's heavy. Alright, we'll get in there a little bit better, it'd be better. Oh yeah, you're good, you're pushing the bottom, that's tight. Oh yeah, good job boys. Nice. Alright, we'll be back for more blocks in a bit. Oh man, it's slowed it down for sure. So we're gonna drive easy, go home. I'm gonna pull these top blocks off so they don't fall off. And get, uh, I, no, I got you. All right, oh man, this guy, that's, that's what's up here. But yeah, so I'll go home, I'll get to hand unload these, and I'll come back and it's about, well, how big is the other pallet, about that big? No, you're getting 130, This face up right here, all the way down is nine. So I'll be going three times then. Yeah. All right, three chips, I better get busy. I'll Put 
I got my work cut off me. I'm gonna go hand and load all these. Come back. Do it two more times. Definitely heavy. I'm not sure how much it weighs, but it weighs a lot. <laughs> we'll be back. There's that grill. We'll check it back out when we come back by. The truck's just too heavy right now. So I made it back with the blocks. Got a lot of blocks, and I gotta do this two more times. So I'm gonna set the phone down. I'm gonna unload them over here where there's no grass. That way it's not too far to tote them once the guys get here. I'm not gonna put them over there because they'll, they'll kill the grass. And so we're gonna put them over here where there ain't no grass. I better get to work. What are you guys doing today? Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are up to. So they can't deliver, well, they can't deliver six weeks out. Or just six months. Six weeks, six months. No, that was about plus. I'll be able to get here by one. It's even worse, we gotta move them twice. That one will end up moving three times. I started the truck to get the AC going because I'll be getting in it here in a second. Wipe off my sweat. Once again, thanks everybody for hanging out and while I'm unloading bricks. So appreciate that. Should I do four? No. Whoa! Now drop it on me. You know I'm gonna do four. See what I did there? Sweating all over myself. I moved those in the back. I moved them right there. Now I gotta move them again. That'd be one, two. Yeah, three times on these guys. All right, almost done. Check this out. This is what you call a grill. Look at this thing. This is so cool. Holy cow, that's, whoa, that's heavy. Wow. Man, check this thing out. I told you that was a pretty cool grill, right? Welcome to the swamp. Everyday travels around here. Back for round two. Hopefully we can get them all in there this time. See the house. Round two, right? Look, the bed's even fuller. Thanks to these boys, they helped unload it, or helped, yeah, helped unload it here. Now I get to go unload it by myself at home. And then uh, half more to go, right? 
One more to go. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, it's a lot of bricks. A whole lot of bricks. He must be going to Aikens too. There's the barbecue spot. Oh, no, he's going back to the farm. Hey, were you at Aikens? Oh, round two. Like I say, little by little. So I really had to, huh? Wipe that lens. So I really had to hustle. I gotta go back and get one more load. But uh, yeah, seven, over 7,000 pounds is what they said. Yeah. All right, let me go buy first, bud. Back for the third load. But you only got a half a bundle over there. So that's all we got left. Yeah, 7,000 7, pounds of concrete that I've moved in the past few hours. So, well, probably only been about an hour. Uh, maybe an hour and a half. But here they come. Just like that, back at Willis World to unload the rest of the bricks. Oh boy, I'm whooped. Not really. I will, I will say that I'm putting my glove in the wrong hand. Uh, I will say that my arm definitely hasn't been as bad. Only a little bit left, so we'll get them undone and be done. Should I go higher? Do you really think I was gonna do a brick ninja? I mean, come on, please. Oh, Julia's here. She just pulled up, you see her? Well, I certainly like uh, let up that, but certainly, certainly hope to like to think, or certainly think to hope to like. Well, I hope you guys liked today's video. A lot of fun hanging out, carrying bricks. Not really. It has to be done though. As you guys continue the journey with us, as we uh, just move through life and have fun. It was a lot of fun today moving those bricks, wasn't it? I'm still not done yet though. I still got, I still got that many more to do. So. I'm going to do those as fast as possible so that uh, I can be done with this and be done with this. You guys are done with this? Because I'm done with this. Uh-oh. You can see the wind picking up in the background. That means the rain's coming. Probably coming pretty quick. A little dark over there. You better get on. Coming down the home stretch. And the final one. Whoa. Whoa. Don't go down, Katie. All right.